this is Johnny Bluegrass here uh, with the Red River Underground. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, we're going to give you a top 10 of the best arches of the gorge. We ranked them, we took a vote, uh, we decided on a, a list of 10 that if you can go see these 10, uh, you're going to be experts in the gorge. Okay, so number 10 is Adena Arch. The reason why I love Adena Arch is one, it's a great hike to go on to. Um, you have the Sheltoe Trace there. You got Indian Arch, which is uh, very close to it as well. The arch itself is a, is a really cool shape. It's uh, kind of small and homey, um, so it's really cool. Coming in at number nine is Double Andrews Arch. Uh, Double Andrews Arch is a very unique rock feature here in the gorge. It kind of looks like a keyhole that goes in between a, a, a giant rock slab. Uh, this is a hidden trail so it's very difficult to find but once you do it's a one of the rare treasures okay moving on number eight silver mine arch this is on a marked trail it takes some of the mystique away but at the same time it's a spectacular arch the arch is shaped almost like a crescent moon and then underneath there's like a cathedral of small rock ledges and little waterfalls and ponds it's shady and peaceful and uh, it's, it's an excellent arch. All right, coming in at number seven, uh, we're lumping these two together because they're so close. It's a snow arch and double deer arch. The reasons why I like these two arches, uh, one, it's very hard to get to. And then once you get to the top, uh, snow arch, the, the way it's uh, set is the sun hits it and it gives off a white glow. It's, uh, it's very interesting. And then to get the double deer arch, you walk around and actually have to crawl over like a really terrifying ledge to get to it. And then you kind of come out at this like little small double arch. You can go through it, under it, get on top of it. You know, it's very endearing and uh, that's why I love it. All right, number six, the elusive Ledford arches. Uh, finding them is a discovery in itself. Uh, you have in that area, you have Hanson's Point, which is one of the most famous overlooks in all of the gorge. Uh, the Ledford arches themselves are, one of them is a very rare arch, it's a kind of a squat arch that uh, it only has a, a very narrow entrance, but it, it leads to the second arch. It's a nice big sweeping arch that uh, overlooks a ravine. It's one of the most spectacular arches in all the gorges. We were wanting to uh, break in and talk about our favorite sugary snack of the gorge. Uh, it's called the Scotch Room, made by Miller's Bakery. It's Amish Treats. It's basically chocolate on a peanut butter rice crispy treat. Everything coalesced together to form a great taste. Number five is Double Arch. This is on a well-marked trail in a well-traveled area of the gorge. And this is a great landmark that people go to a lot. It is high on a rock ridge with a large arch in front of you and then a smaller one that kind of acts looks like a window on top in addition you can climb to the right and go up to the observatory where you can see oxier ridge from the other side all right coming in at number four is gray's arch uh we got gray's arch number four for multiple reasons uh one accessibility it's got its own parking lot its own trailhead all ages and fitness levels can get to it. Uh, and Gray's Arch is, you know, the biggest and most popular famous arch in the gorge. It's got a really good pattern underneath it. Um, in the summer, there is a, a little mini waterfall that goes through there. I recommend it for everybody. Uh, number three, Hopewell. Hopewell Arch is one of the most difficult arches to find in the gorge. But when you do, it is also the most rewarding. Uh, you have to make a very steep climb, you have to follow a very lightly marked trail. But when you get to the top, Hopewell has a large cavern uh, with the arch itself going over top of your head. Go and check out Hopewell. All right guys, we're winding down here. We're down to number two, and we're talking Stargap Arch, an arch that's simply out of this world. You can wind your way down through these brushy areas and then all of a sudden, you come to a clearing and there's this massive arch that spans dozens of feet in front of you with like an overlook on the other side. You can also explore nearby areas. 
There's what we call the living wall, which is neat. You can go on top of the arch and explore all sorts of areas. Uh, jailhouse rock is in the area. Um, but the arch itself simply has to be seen to be believed, so you need to check this one out. And uh, now comes the highly anticipated moment. It's our most badass arch of the gorge, Redbird Arch. One, it's in a really cool area. So you actually have to drive out, out of the gorge and then hike back in. And uh, it's a little difficult to find, but man, once you do, it's awesome. There's a waterfall in the spring and summer. Uh, the arch itself is like a medium to large size arch. There's, there's so many things to explore over there. Large river at the bottom. A great reason as to why we like it so much is how hidden it actually is. It is one of truly a, a hidden arch of the gorge. So we hope you enjoyed our list, uh, Red River Underground's most badass arches in the gorge. Uh, list us your top 10 arches in the gorge in the comments and tell us what you think.